or myself have ever done anything right. Never a compliment. Except maybe one by Mrs. Reed. Okay. Nothing is ever right. You're right. To okay. All right. Now, two of you bought storefronts in Blonox and spent a couple of dollars remodeling them. Now you think Blonox taxpayers owe you everything from new sidewalks to trees to decorative lighting and etc. The only thing that Blonox Borough owes you people <coughs> is navigable streets, public water supply, sanitary sewers, police protection, fire protection, and ambulance service. Our fire protection and our ambulance service is provided by volunteers. And these two services count on patrons contributing to help finance their operating expenses. And the last time I checked, neither one of you three people have contributed a cent. Okay? The three of you are nothing but obstructionists, in my opinion, and you're costing the taxpayers in this borough a lot of money. For the year 2009, I have estimated the cost to the taxpayers from your frivolous requests and actions to be 20, about $22,000, which is approximately one-third of a mil taxpayers' dollars. These $22,000 includes the following services, borough solicitor fees, part-time hiring, borough manager's time, supplies, paper, copier, and et cetera. We pay for During that, 12, Mr. Smith. Did I interrupt you? Go ahead. During the 12 months of 2009, Sherry had 80, 80, right to know data requests. Of those 80 data requests, 76 of them were from the three of you. 76 were from the three of you. Only four requests were received from other persons. These data requests required 878 pages of paper to answer your request, plus what our solicitor had to send you and Sherry and Kathy's time. And all you three persons had to pay was a meager $219 for the 878 pages of information. Besides these data requests, someone in your group has contacted the following persons or organizations requesting information about Blonde Ox Barra or making reports to try to embarrass our elected officials. State DCED, Grants Division, filed two appeals with the State Office of Open Records sent packet to Tony DeLuca, our state legislator, trying to embarrass us. And Tony called me and asked me to come over and pick this packet up. This is a beaut, okay? When was that? Okay. Sent correspondence to Amatech personnel pertaining to the CITCO station. You're trying to beat down the CITCO development. You're trying to beat down the Amatech parking project. You're trying to disrail the borough building renovation and a new fire department and maintenance department project. You have contacted Senate Engineering trying to get information. You have called our building inspector so many times that he will no longer take any calls from you. Okay? Distributed false data stating that I am planning to spend two point I, the mayor, was planning to spend two point two million of your tax dollars on renovating the borough building. No mention of a fire company facility or a new maintenance garage. Okay. This will be stating that this will cost the taxpayers an extra an extra $175,000. This is the paper that will cost the borough an extra $175,000 when the extra should be approximately $33,000. It's a total debt service of $175,000. You people can't get it right, okay? Peggy distributed literature stating that she was currently working towards obtaining light poles for Freeport Road. Here's the flyer for doing that, okay? She's currently uh, tr trying to get, tr working hard to get light poles for Freeport Road, okay? This is a flyer. I'd like to know how much, what did you do to participate in those light poles, Peggy? What well, did you do? Okay. It seems a, to me, being yes, you're me addressing me, I, I will answer that. It seems to me that, that as yeah. I I'm said before, respond. you were a group of Sir, obstructionists I here. who eventually I tried to get the meeting. don't think that we, anything we, is right in our work. If this be the case, wait, you may wait, want wait, to think about relocating your businesses to another municipality that is more pleasing to you. If you people have comments that may be constructive, we will welcome these comments. Okay? However, if you continue to comment, your comments to be obstructive, we don't want to hear them. Thanks for the time.
we're not allowed to speak. That's why we have to do those. The reason we have to go to the right to know is to get information. You people do not discuss anything. No, 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 no. You do not let us know about anything. So that we found the only way to get information is to ask for it, now that we're allowed. And Mr. Smith, I really resent you saying that we didn't help with those bulls. Without these people coming and twisting your arm to get to do something, you'd still be sitting there with that smile on your face. How much tax do you pay, Mr. Smith? Zero, zilch. Do you pay tax, Mr. Smith? You pay borrow tax? I don't now because I no well, longer own any Well, it counts now, not but before. I, I, I and that. you make comments how you use our tax pay, our, our tax. Okay? Motion to adjourn. I'll make the motion. You handling the tax, yes. not paying any tax. I, Do they want to attack you? From the council? You have to listen. From now on, very closely. Okay? Yeah. We're all the same. And you too. Bye, Sam. All council by the way. Excuse me, Mr. Solicitor, did you have a chance to give them the paperwork? Did you adjourn? No. I, don't, I gave you a couple. Did they, did they receive it? Oh, your letter? Yeah. Yeah, my letter. Thank you. And when Mr. Campbell is going to be back? Do you know? Uh, I think tomorrow. Okay. Thank you.